السلام علیکم دس از می امجد عمر رانجا این ادر ٹاپک آف بایولوجی امپارٹنٹ ٹاپک وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس ٹوڈے از ایکسکریشن وی ٹاکڈ اباؤٹ ایکسکریشن ان پریویس لیکچرز ایز ویل ایکسکریشن ان اینیملس وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس ٹوڈے دا ریپرزینٹیو اینیملس وی ول ڈسکس دا ایکسکریشن ان انورٹیبریٹس اینڈ لیٹر آن ان ورٹیبریٹس انورٹیبریٹ اینیملس انکلیوڈ دا ہائیڈرا دا پلین ایریا the earthworm and the cockroach later on we'll discuss the excretion in vertebrates especially in human beings so the first topic of today is excretion in invertebrates we'll discuss today about two invertebrate animals the first one is hydra and the second one is the planarian so we are going to discuss about excretion In previous lectures, we talked about the definition of excretion. What is excretion? Excretion is the removal or elimination of metabolic waste, mainly of nitrogenous nature, from the bodies of living organisms is called excretion. As the word ex means, expel out, exit out. So the elimination or removal of metabolic waste mainly of nitrogenous nature is called as excretion the topic of today is excretion in hydra excretion in hydra and plain area first we are going to discuss excretion in hydra first we know what is an hydra hydra what is an hydra actually hydra is an animal when we say that hydra is an animal it means it belongs to kingdom animalia hydra is an invertebrate animal invertebrate animal means it doesn't have the vertebral column as the central support of the body hydra is hydra belongs to phylum nidaria phylum nidaria is the phylum of the hydra the word nidaria means it bears nidocytes the hydra and other animals included into this phylum have nidocytes the stinging cells the word nido means stinging and the cytes mean cells the stinging cells so all the animals included into this phylum have nidocytes so they are called as nidarians they are also called as cilentrates this phylum nidaria is also called as phylum cilentrata the word cilentrata is actually made up of two words the first is cilom which is the body cavity cilom means body cavity which every animal do have as uh, human beings also have there are acilomate animals as well but we are talking about cilomates they have cilom entron and the word entron means the digestive system the word entron means digestive system why they are called as cilentrates why because they have a cilentron a cavity inside the body which act as digestive system so they are also called as cilentrates they belong to phylum cilentrata the phylum nidaria and cilentrata means the same thing so hydra is an invertebrate animal lives in the fresh water as well as salt water and they are nidaria they are cilentrates uh, now we need to move on the next thing about excretion in hydra we first discuss the excretory products in hydra what products what excretory products hydra have mainly it have the nitrogenous waste in the form of ammonia it have carbon dioxide as an excretory waste it have other salts it has other salts as an excretory substances next topic we need to discuss or need to focus on is excretory structures in hydra or excretory system in hydra we need to focus on the excretory structures very important thing is there isn't any system there is no system in the hydra devoted for excretion so no system is present in the hydra for elimination of nitrogenous waste from the body so question is how excretion the removal of nitrogenous waste from the body of hydra takes place so what is the excretory mechanism we need to see the excretory mechanism of 
hydra so the excretory mechanism of hydra is very very simple process called as diffusion what is diffusion the movement of molecules from their high concentration towards their low concentrations so in hydra the excretion takes place through diffusion which is a simple mechanism of excretion in hydra we need to draw a diagram of hydra over here this is a simple uh, diagram of hydra sorry this is the mouth of the hydra this is the entron in the hydra this is uh, here are the tentacles on the tentacles the nidocytes are present these are tentacles in the hydra inside tentacles the the nidocytes are present nidocytes are the cells inside nidocytes the organelles specific organelles the nematocysts are present we'll talk about nematocysts in chapter number 10 so nidocytes because of nidocytes this phylum is also called as phylum nidaria uh, one thing more which is very important uh, hydra is a diploblastic animal it has just two germ layers diplo mean double two blastic germ layers one is ectoderm other is endoderm so two germ layers are present outer and inner this is called as cilentron this cilentron act as a digestive cavity so we need to focus how diffusion takes place inside the uh, hydra at two places the diffusion takes place for example first point is this from the body wall from the ectoderm the carbon dioxide is excreted out the oxygen is taken in and as well as the nitrogenous waste is excreted second place is the cilentron from here the carbon dioxide expel out inside the food or with the waste material of digest digestion means digestive waste the carbon dioxide is removed out from the body and oxygen moves in which comes in the body with the help of mouth this is a sac like digestive system we talked about it in the uh, chapter 12 of first year biology as well as the nitrogenous waste moves out and out with the help of the nitrogenous uh, with the help of the digestive waste this is the excretory system in hydra our the second animal today is excretion in planaria we'll follow the same pattern excretion in planaria planaria is a plural whose singular is planarian first we need to focus on the planarian planarian is again an animal animal means it belongs to kingdom animalia uh, planarian is actually an invertebrate animal as uh, earlier i discussed i talked about we are going to discuss the excretion in invertebrates in this lecture so this is an invertebrate animal this is fresh water animal it is the habitant of fresh waters uh, moreover uh, planaria belongs to flat worm class of the uh, animals flat worms what are flat worms whose bodies are flat whose bodies are wider uh flat worms are also called as phylum platyhelminths the word platyhelminths means platy means flat and helminths mean worms these are the flat worms these are these, these belongs to the phylum platyhelminths two kinds of uh, animals are in the uh, phylum platyhelminths some are free living as planaria is a free living free living mean they do not live like a parasite planarian is a free living animal in this phylum and some are parasites in examples of the parasites is tapeworm tapeworm belongs to the phylum platyhelminths and is a parasite so next we need to focus on uh, sorry uh, what are the excretory products in planaria i talked about the habitat of planaria i talked about this is a fresh water animal so nitrogenous waste be will be in the form of ammonia the carbon dioxide some salts excreted from the body of planarian so next in this we'll talk about the excretory structures in planaria very important topic 
excretory system which is the excretory system what are the excretory structures in the plain area what are the excretory structures very important thing this is the first animal the simplest animal in which the proper excretory system develops the system is called as protonephridia protonephridia are present the word proto means first and the nephridia the word nephro means excretory they are about excretion so the first system of excre excretion in is in plain area the simple animals in hydra i said there isn't any system there is no system for the excretion but in plain area an excretory system evolved which is very simplest system of excretion which is called as protonephridia the uh, which is a tubular system tubules the ducts are present which which is called as tubular system the protonephridia in earth form we will talk about the metanephridium the word meta mean advanced the next but the proto means first are less advanced uh, we will compare these two systems later on the protonephridia as well as the metanephridia but here we need to focus on the protonephridia uh, actually uh, we need to draw the diagram of uh, planarian this is planarian this is the planarian this is the planarian these are two eyes of it this is the first tube excretory tubule which runs along the longitude of the animal longitude mean it runs along the length of the animal this is the second proto nephridium this is the second proto nephridium the excretory tubule we will call them as excretory tubules we will call them as the proto nephridia sorry this is the this is one so excretory tubule or proto nephridium this is the proto nephridium so next uh, if we zoom in and we 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 see it uh, after enlarging it something we will see there is a flame cell system there is a flame cell system present what is this flame cell system we need to focus these are two excretory tubules in the body of uh, planarian which runs along the longitude of the body which runs along the length of the body so if we uh, make it more uh, make it uh, bigger we can see basically this is the uh, this is the excretory tubule and here this is the excretory tubule this is the flame cell actually here a lot of cells are present which make the excretory tubule these cells are called as tubular cells this cell is called as flame cell why i'll explain it here the nucleus of this cell the flame cell this is the flame cell this is the cytoplasm this is the nucleus of that cell important thing cilia are present over here these are the cilia the hair like structures which beat or move whose function is movement so this is a flame cell which is also called as flame bulb when the cilia present inside it beat when the cilia beat they look like a flickering flame of a candle a candle has a flame and that that flame flickers the cilia when beating they look like a flickering flame of a candle so this structure is called as flame cell so this structure is given the name of flame cell sometimes this is called as flame bulb this is the excretory tubule this is the excretory tubule and this is the flame cell uh, when these cilia beat they expel or propel uh the salomic fluid present over here this is the salomic fluid which is present inside these two excretory tubules salomic fluid is present over here sorry this is the salomic fluid as i mentioned over here salomic fluid 
from salomic fluid the excretory products which are needed to be excreted out of the body are propelled inside this flame cell this direction will remain will be propelled into the flame cell from here they'll move through these excretory tubules are protonephridia while moving through protonephridia they will arrive at a point where the excretory ducts are present or uh, excretory this this is excretory tubule and this is the excretory duct at the end of excretory duct there is a pore present this pore is called as nephridiopore an exterior pore this pore opens towards out of the body uh, i'll elaborate over here in in along the sides of the plane area along the sides of the plane area a lot of nephridio pores are present these are the nephridio pores these are the exterior openings these nephridio pores eliminate the excretory products out of the body so inside the body there is no opening in the protonephridia so we call them as blind ducts they are blind ducts they do not have interior opening or internal opening so they are the blind duct but towards the exterior there are the exterior pores which are called as nephridio pores the only pores along the sides there there isn't any one or two pores there are a lot of pores along the side of the planarian so this is the uh this is the excretory system which is most complicated part of this topic the excretory uh the excretory system next is excretory mechanism how excretion takes place through plain area or in plain area sorry through the proton protonephridia when these cilia beat they propel the excretory products present inside the salomic fluid into the into these excretory tubules when the excretory products which are water salts ammonia carbon dioxide when they move along these excretory tubules some salts useful salts some water is reabsorbed so little reabsorption important thing to be noted over here little reabsorption takes place inside the protonephridia of the plain area although this is very simplest system of excretion but little reabsorption also takes place when this these excretory products move towards the excretory duct from the nephridio pore these are expelled out of the body this is the mechanism of excretion in plain area so two topics we discussed in this lecture the first one excretion in hydra hydra has no specific system so simple diffusion takes place excretion in plain area plain area has the simplest system of excretion which is which is called as which are called as protonephridia the tubular system flame cell system uh, and the simplest system of excretion this is all about today's topic stay connected to us for the rest topics